Hello, I'm Casey Bennett reporting for the Wingspan News, and I'm here interviewing Lucas Meek, who is a crucial player for the 5A football varsity team this year. So, Lucas, how do you think that you guys did this year? I mean, we did well, but there's always room for improvement. I mean, we just got to take our game to the next level and just compete at a higher level next year. I mean, there's not much to do. We just got to get out there during the summer and just work. That's all we can do is just work. Whether you're Gator Chomp or Seminole Chop, whenever you get into college, bring your letter to Miss Devonzo to get your picture taken and put on the Class of 2017 Twitter. <laughs> How do you feel about being named valedictorian? Uh, I feel great knowing that all my hard work has paid off. Uh, I always dedicated myself to school and sports and everything like that, so it feels good to be recognized for it. Um, what is your current GPA? My current GPA is a 4.74. 5A has a lot of new policies this year, one of which is the new tardy policy. It tracks your tardies and gives you the correct disciplinary action at the correct time. The first two tardies that you get, you get retaught that expectation. Your third one, you get a lunch detention. The fourth, you get a lunch ISS. And the fifth, you get a referral. So be on time, Falcons. There's a new tradition starting here at 5A, and it's only for seniors. You can now buy a 4x6 parking square. It's $35, and it includes your parking sticker. So, buy it now to leave your mark for the rest of the year. I'm here with four-year veteran from the cheer team, Siobhan Spear. How do you feel being one of the only four-year veterans on the cheer team? Um, it's a great feeling because I know that I've been committed this whole entire time. <laughs> so this year, halfway through your senior season, how did you feel that your coach left? Um, it was really like disappointing, and it kind of like, like was hard to get through because she was our coach for the entire like high school career, and like we needed her, and she left us. How did you bring the team together and continue to get the team to work as hard as they did before with a new coach? Um, I just told them that like she's not the one who like won the competitions we were, and that we could do it with or without her. Oh my god, Jelly! Hello, I'm Casey. Hi. Hi, I'm Casey Chris Nako. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. So you were recently reelected, mm -hmm. so how does that feel to be reelected again? Um, it's definitely a relief. I thank God, you know, it's behind me. We can move forward as a sheriff's office, but I think it's really big because there's a consistency in the sheriff's office. You know, you don't have to worry about this election. And Unfortunately, so during election time, have, things get uh, thrown up in the air. Um, people, you know, everything say is political, but now we're able to just keep moving forward because there's so much going on in our community right now and we need to focus on public safety and focus on getting things done. Is there any advice for students that you would give? Right, the, the big thing, and this isn't just for those trying to go into criminal justice, this is those trying to go into any field. Watch what you put on social media. When you, um, are, you know, when you're going for a position, your prospective employer is looking up your social media sites. They're looking to see what you've done, who you hang out with, how you act. Because how you come in an interview could be quite different than how you are in real life. Thank you for Thank your you. time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.